Alexei, I've followed your career with great interest. The world sees you as a witless dullard. I see a warrior with a poet's heart. I know you desire freedom from the battle suit you're sealed inside. Help me achieve my goals, and freedom shall be yours. It's rare for me to admit this, Mr. Gargan. Clearing your debts was more difficult than I anticipated. You're in arrears to some demanding individuals. But once the reservoir job is finished, your financial obligations will be finished as well. Otto Octavius is nothing if not persuasive. Adrian, what bitter irony that your miraculous wings should have wrought such horrors on your body. Thankfully, you are now working for me. When our work is settled, the treatment I've developed will cure you. You won't shuffle off this mortal coil just yet, my friend. Max, when you first conveyed your dream to me, I thought you insane. Pure energy. <laughs> But as I dove deeper into the problem, I discovered a way to give us both what we desire. I promise you, when we are done, you will be pure energy. Or so close to it as to make the difference irrelevant. Oh, Martin. When I first realized it was you targeting Osborne these past weeks, I was shocked and saddened. But then, as the situation evolved before my eyes, I felt... inspired. You took the bold steps I had always dreamed of, Martin, and you took them without hesitation. I am honored now to join you on this path towards true justice. Norman. I feel like I can't turn around without seeing his face. He smiles for the cameras, collects his accolades, and keeps his boot heel pressed against my neck. Why can't anyone else see how selfish he is? How reckless? How evil? If only they could be made to see the Norman I know, the man behind the mask. Oscorp has snaked itself throughout the city. Power, communication, public safety. Norman made his company essential, but also fragile. If a disaster were to occur, and a few small pressure points were tweaked, it would all fall apart. The public would see Norman for what he is, a leech on their lives. Yes, just a few simple steps, and he would be ruined forever. How many men would I need? Well, let's see. First, some kind of disaster. A hurricane, an earthquake, or a plague. Next... Assaults on Oscorp's power grid and emergency relief send the city into chaos. Let the people see the truth about Norman. Yes. Just a handful of men. No more than a half dozen. A sinister six. Martin has been arrested. Norman looks pleased. Believes he's safe. He has no idea. He's just put all the rotten eggs a man might need into a single basket. With Martin in raft, alongside Scorpion, Rhino, Vulture, and Electro, a single swift kick is all it would take to send those eggs tumbling down the hill, straight at Oscorp and Norman. Yes, just one small kick. I think it's time for me to lace up my boots and climb the hill. This is my final recording. Peter, if you're listening to this, please know that I did what I thought was just. It may have been extreme, but when it comes to Norman, half measures will never do. Of all that I risk by taking this next step, the loss of our friendship will pain me the most. I hope that if we meet again, it will not be on opposite sides. Can feel my power growing, feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance that he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become one. Today is the day. 
grant review. We're ready. The work has progressed at a remarkable pace. I honestly never thought we'd get the tensile actuator back to an acceptable tolerance. But Parker... The boy has an eye for guerrilla science like none other. Just as I was ready to order a custom machine replacement part, he returned from the hardware store with a bottle of solvent and a toothbrush. Bang! Actuator problem resolved. The boy is a genius. <sighs> a chronically late genius. It's already ten after. Where is he? Surely he couldn't have forgotten today's review. Peter is starting to suspect. He hides it, but I can tell. He's seen my twitch. Noticed the decay of my fine motor control. Well, I'm the one who wanted a genius for an assistant. Of course he knows. <sighs> I just need more time. My work can improve millions of lives. Save millions of lives. It could also save my own. I just need more time. Peter, thank you again for doing these blind reviews. Peer review is the backbone of great science. You know, as we've prepped for the upcoming fitting, I felt an itch in the back of my brain. Is this really the best method of limb replacement? Silly, I know, but I keep thinking, might there be another way? The grant review was a debacle, yes, but it may also prove to be the inspiration I need. We can no longer simply meet the committee's expectations. We must exceed them. Damn it! Why do I keep repeating the same mistake over and over? Norman Osborn cannot be trusted. In matters large and small, if Norman has the chance to profit off another man's loss, he'll take it. It's infuriating. Someday I'll turn the tables. I'll teach Norman what it is to feel helpless and small. Peter. Oh, Peter. Don't even know why I'm bothering to record this. Norman has neutered us, and soon the lab will be out of funds. We were on the verge of such great things. If we had just a bit more time and money, I know all the ideas in our heads would have come pouring in. Wait. Ideas in our heads. My God, Peter, that's it! Parker, we've been focused on limb replacement. Connecting nerves at severed extremities, replicating the function of lost appendages. But what if instead, we gave people something they've never seen? Something straight from the mind? Unchain all of us from the bodies we've been born with, and instead, unleash the awesome power of our minds. Happy birthday, dear. Sorry I'm a little late. It's been a busy month. I miss you, Em. Especially today. I've put Harry... <clears throat> I've sent him away. For treatment. We'll fix him, Em. I promise. Development of GR-27 was too slow to save you. It won't fail, Harry. I'm keeping his room exactly as it is, ready for when he gets back. The key is with you, Em. I know you keep it safe. Norman Osborne, GR-27 research log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. I have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. <laughs>